Hello everyone. In this video, I'll deploy Azure resources like resource group, virtual network, and the subnets using PowerShell, ARM templates, and Azure DevOps pipeline. I'll use the YAML pipeline for Azure DevOps, where we'll define the different steps in the pipeline, where in the first step, resource group will be deployed using PowerShell, because you cannot deploy resource group using ARM templates from Azure pipeline. And then in the next step, we'll deploy the virtual network and the subnets in the resource group which is created step before. The main purpose of this video is to showcase the deployment of Azure resources using Azure DevOps pipeline. So let's start this deployment in the lab now. I'm logged into Azure DevOps now, as you can see, dev.azure.com. Right now I'm in the organization Lab Shalender and the project Demo DevOps. If you are new to Azure DevOps, I would recommend checking the video showing on the right hand top corner where I have shown how to set up a project and create your first pipeline. You can even find the URL of that video in the description of this video. For this lab, I have created one repository in the Azure DevOps itself with the name demo DevOps, where I've created three files. One is ARM template, where the deployment of VNet and subnets are defined and the parameter file for the ARM template, which is also in JSON format. And the third one is Azure pipelines.yml. So it is a YAML pipeline, which is saved in the Git repo. And we'll use the same pipeline for the deployment of resources now. But there is a prerequisite before we start this deployment. Azure DevOps and Azure Portal are two different environments. And by default, Azure Pipeline cannot deploy in Azure environment. To make it possible, you have to create a service connection, which in this case, you can see in the project settings, service connection. And there is one service connection already created and it is a workload identity federation service connection. I have already created a video on the integration of Azure DevOps with Azure. Check the tag on the right corner of your screen or in the description of this video. So this service connection has created a service principle in Azure Enter ID and we have provided contributor level access to that service principle on Azure subscription. So that means if we'll use the service connection in the pipeline, we can deploy any resource in the Azure environment. So let's go to the repository again and open the template file. I'll increase the size of the screen first. Now here we have defined few parameters whose value we'll fetch from the parameter file. So first the VNet name, which is the name of the virtual network, then the VNet address prefix, that will be the CIDR for the virtual network. We are deploying two subnets, application subnet and database subnet. An application subnet CIDR range, same the database subnet name and the database subnet prefix. And then the parameter for the location of the virtual network. And once this is done in the resources section, the virtual network will be created using all those parameters. And once the virtual network is created, the two subnets will be created afterwards. And in the output section, it will show the resource ID of virtual network, application subnet, as well as the database subnet. And all those parameters which are defined in the template file have been provided values in the parameter file. So the virtual network name I've given is test new virtual network. It's 10 dot series. It's not advisable to give such a big CIDR though this is just a lab and I'll delete all the resources once the deployment is done. So I'll use this CIDR. Application subnet name is app subnet where the CIDR is 10.0.1.0 slash 24. And for the DB subnet, 2.0/24 and the location will be Australia East. Now we have ARM template ready for the deployment of virtual network and the subnets. But the virtual network can only be deployed in the resource group. And it's not possible to deploy the resource group using the ARM template. So for that we'll use the PowerShell in the pipeline to deploy the resource group first and once the resource group is deployed successfully, then deploy the virtual network and its subnets. So let's go to the pipeline and create a new pipeline. Create a new pipeline, Azure repos git, demo devops, and this is the pipeline here. Trigger is none, which means the pipeline will not be triggered whether there are commits or the pull requests in the repository. Now there are four variables defined, resource group name, which I've given as RG VNet test, location is Australia East, virtual network template name, and this template is saved in the git repository and the parameter file. This is also saved in the same location. Now we are defining the stage. The stage is deploy infrastructure. 
as the display name you can see deploy infrastructure and it has two jobs one is deploy resource group where we are using the microsoft managed windows pool where the task is to run azure powershell using the service connection which we have already created and the inline script because you can easily deploy a resource group with a single command new az resource group and the name of the resource group and the location of the resource group we are using the latest version of the powershell here and the second job is deploy virtual network and subnets same way we are using the windows latest agent pool which depends on the deployment of resource groups this means this job will only run once the resource group is created and the task here defines the arm template deployment which uses the same service connection and all the values are picked from the variables which are defined in the start of this file here you can see the variables all these are defined here it's a linked artifact and the deployment mode is incremental which means in case we run the pipeline again with a minor change it will not just wipe out the resources it will just make the minor changes there so let's run the pipeline now now as you can see there are two jobs one is for deploying the resource group another one is deploying the virtual network and subnet let's click here the job is queued now because the microsoft hosted agent is not ready it has initialized and it's downloading all the artifacts from the git repository and saving into the agent pool in the next step it's setting up the powershell where it will get the authorization using the service connection as you can see here and once the authorization is successful it will start deploying the resource group and the resource group provisioning status is succeeded that means it has deployed successfully in the post job it's just cleaning up the cache and credentials and any orphan jobs now this step is done it will move on to the next job where it will deploy the virtual network and the subnets in it same way it's getting the artifacts from the repository and downloading into microsoft hosted agent pool now it's getting the authorization using the service connection and then the template deployment will start let's quickly go to azure portal to the resource groups rg test vnet should be available here you can see rg vnet test and if we'll go in the deployment it is already succeeded but we can check the virtual network is created and if we'll click on the virtual network it'll take you to the virtual network which is deployed on australia east and in the resource group rg vnet test address space is 10.0.0.16 which we have defined and if we'll go to the subnets there should be two subnets available app subnet and db subnet however there are a lot more things which you can do like if we'll click on subnet you can define the network security group route tables and if you want to provide the service endpoints that can be enabled but this is a very basic lab where we are just deploying the azure resources using azure devops pipeline so if we'll go back to our pipeline we can see the pipeline is successful you can ignore this warning because this is not a self hosted devops agent this is a microsoft hosted and both the different versions are running azure rm as well as the latest azure version if we'll go back to the resource group and in the deployment click on the deployment and in the output you can get all the details of the vnet id this is the vnet id application subnet id and the database subnet id so to summarize this video we created arm templates for virtual network and subnet deployment using the json parameter file which is used along with the arm template itself then we created a yaml pipeline where we defined different jobs and in the first job we created a resource group using powershell and once the first job is successful and in the second job arm template will be for the deployment of virtual network and subnets second job will only run when the first job is successful and the authorization of the pipeline is managed by the service connection which is created in the project all the artifacts which are used in this video will be provided in the description itself and you can download these file from there so that's all for this video i hope you liked it please like and subscribe thank you so much